But then I've been a fan of a fan, I mean, I'm getting out of hand, so you gotta hand it to him. Tell me what you think of doing, baby, cause you pursuing right rhymes to get with school and blind. Depth and a fool of being innovative, motivated, hell just trying to be creative. Saying that's all the same fear when it isn't it. Really silly, but you know you wanna play it. Bet you thought I wouldn't say it. But I did, now I'm beginning to feel like I have a little musical skill and I might have a little appeal. People's going to try and kill me. I'm beginning to feel like a rapper dog. <laughs> did I do it right? What's up, everybody? It is, oh, a nice casual Sunday, if you can't tell from the lack of time. And today, we are going to talk about hip hop. Atlas Cage, you've been doing rock and roll, man. What is this rap song stuff? I got a special request a little while back of some folks who were really wanting to hit, see a vlog on, you know, hip hop back in the day. I used to write a bunch. I still kind of like, I produce beats for people here and there, and I did some like movie scores and things like that that had a little hip hop beat to it. So, we're going to talk about how to write a rap song. If you guys are feeling this and you want a little more on it, if you want me to go more in depth on something, or if you want me to do a video on how to make a beat, we can do that too. Just let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And y'all make sure to stick around because in this video, we got two, yes two, special guests coming up. Jules Demad and Phonetic Kid Damage from the Interstellar Dwellers. My homie from way back in the day. So it'll be good. It'll be good. You know, it's nice to get that perspective and everything and kind of just show you different backgrounds as well. How to write a rap song and stay on the beat. With step one, your very basic, most important step here is get your tools together. Now, grab your pen, now, grab your paper, now, now, I'm old school. I like to use a pad and pen. I write everything out. But you know, if you want to do some new school writing and everything, you could just get, get an app on your phone, do it on there. You can write on your tablet. The thing that I really like about having pen and paper, though, you can scratch things out. You can make little doodles here and there that kind of just, as your mind wanders, you know, and you're going through the process of trying to come up with lyrics, come up with a concept. Sometimes your mind will wander off and you can kind of just draw these things out or write something out. It does something different for you artistically, creatively. I think that if you can scratch something out instead of deleting it, you know, later on you have something that has a better flow with a line that you had before that you got rid of, but if you delete it, you forget stuff. I mean, I forget stuff all the time. Maybe you don't forget stuff, but I forget things. So having them there, having them on the paper still, even though it's just kind of lined out, to me is a huge benefit. And I mean, you can use a method of, uh, if you're typing them in on, you know, put them on your phone, save them a notes app, you could always just put them in parentheses instead of deleting them and say, you know, these are the alternate lines I came up with originally. Whatever you're into, whatever makes it easier for you, guys. It's all good. Step two, what are you gonna write about? What you gonna write about? There's an old adage that goes, write what you know. I think it really does apply to this. It makes it easier, at least for starting. And if you only know one adage is, you need to Google that stuff. All right, little pro tip on writing hip hop, or actually just writing songs in general. The more broad your vocabulary is, the easier it's gonna be to do any of this. How are you gonna make stuff rhyme? You only got 10 words of rhyme. When you got 15 ways to say love and 13 ways to say neighborhood and 10 ways to say your friend, it makes it a lot easier than just being limited to the, do a couple of phrases, a couple of words here and there. So always broaden that vocabulary. So what do you wanna write about? I mean, what really speaks to you? What do you, when you listen to other rappers or other singer songwriters or anybody like that, what stands out to you? What do you notice that they're writing about? And then what, what in that affects you? You wanna write about your life, you wanna write about your job, your hobbies, just your dreams, your dreams and fantasies in general in your head. Some of the most interesting rappers I ever met would do this exercise where they would just start rapping about what's around them. And if you can really just describe what's around you in such a way that it's both artistic, has a good flow to it, then you can talk about anything. And that's, I mean, that's what hip hop is, is being able to really bring people into your world through lyrics. Really being able to capture an audience with your lyrics, that's the key. All right, phase three, how long should it be? How long should your rap be? Now how many bars are you gonna spit? Now how many bars are you gonna spit? Now traditionally speaking, what you're gonna hear most most rappers talk about is 16 bars. There is, in sheet music, I think when writing music, you have measures. And these measures are effectively the same thing as bars in hip hop. And say on a standard, you know, four four time signature, you've got your four quarter notes, which let's say in hip hop, you got kick snare, kick snare. And those notes are gonna fall between 
two bar lines, in other words, bars. That measure in particular would be one bar. Usually your 16 bars can be broken up into four bar verses, or not verses, four bar sections. And from there, you just build on that. I mean, you know, you got lyricists like you got Eminem or Busta Rhymes or Tech 9 and these guys write, you know, 5,000 bars per track. 16 bars is a great way to start. I had a buddy of mine comment on one of these videos. He goes, I can always hear your ring every time you move. And I didn't realize just how much noise it makes. Now, that's all I can hear. If you want to know how to count your bars so that you know where you're falling on these 16, the easiest way to do it is it's just one, two, three, four. And then you measure out so this was one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. That's the length, you know, depending on what your tempo is and everything. That's essentially what you're looking for in timing out your verse. Four bars of it, do that four times. All right, so now, where the rhyming words go. Where you gonna get those rhymes? Now, where you gonna get those rhymes? I mean, are they going within your bars? Are they rhyming in that? Are they rhyming like the last word of each bar? Is that what's picking up? So let's say you're doing a quick rhyme and it's, you're doing birds of a feather fly together, even in bad weather, through the rain and fly through the pain. So many faces change, nothing stays the same, not even my reflection reflecting. So within that, you're actually, your rhyming words are occurring within the bar itself and on some occasions occurring at the end of it as well. So it's kind of just your, I don't know, your vibe, whatever it is you're going for. But for the sake of this, if you're brand new to hip hop or if you're just trying to get back to basics and really start from the ground up, let's say just for the, the sake of it, that you want the words at the end of each bar to be your rhyming words. So in that, that same instance, if you were, you know, I don't even know why I'm making this hard on myself. I'm gonna look at this. So if you were like, birds of the same style fly together, birds of that new style storm the weather. So you got your, and what's, you've got the words at the end of the bars that are rhyming. And that's what we're gonna do for this one. That's probably the easiest way to do it for now. And once you kind of get a feel for it, you can kind of switch where your words are coming in, switch up your style a little bit and experiment with things. That's, that's part of the fun of hip hop. You can experiment with whatever. Now we're getting into it. We've got what we're writing about. We know how to write it. We need a beat. Now what you know about their beats? Now what you know about their So, I mean, there's a lot of avenues you can take in this. You can make the beat yourself which I would highly recommend if you've got the time and you got the, the resources to do it, learning how to make your own beats. It opens up so many avenues for you. You know, if you get stuck in the lyrics, you go back, you work on the beat a little bit, you kind of get this thing going in your mind, and all of a sudden it triggers something else. In the lyrics, you go back, start writing, and they kind of just feed off of each other. There are also options for, if you're not a beat maker, you don't want to make any of the beats, or you're just not comfortable with it, you're not really looking to do that right now, there are tons of beat makers out there who are already putting out free stuff that you can use, at least just to practice on. I mean, you can find stuff on SoundCloud, BeatStars, you can find stuff on YouTube, Spotify even plays just beat channels. There are a ton of resources out there and a ton of different styles. So you can pretty much try on any sort of style you want. You wanna do East Coast versus West Coast rap, you wanna do like Dirty South style rap, you wanna do something more digital sounding. You can do a ton of things. There's a lot out there to pick from. Find your beat, make your beat, drum on the table if you have to, man. It's, it's whatever, just have fun with it. All right, so now, now you got the beat, you know what you want to write about, tell me your story. Now it's time for you to put that message out. How do you want it to sound? What do you want to tell us? And what do you want us to know about your music? Tell me what you got. Tell me what you got. Now tell me what you got. Break it down in a way that your, your first bar is, or uh, your first four, four, first four bars are your setup. Your next eight are kind of your conflict and your last four are your resolution to your verse. You know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a true to life thing that you're telling. You could do something just kind of uh, comic book wise or movie wise. You know, if you have some idea in your head, say the story is you're going to work. That's your setup, your first four bars. Your conflict, is you get there and the store's being robbed and you have to defend it against whoever, you know, you go up in there and you scrap. That's your, your conflict and your resolution is you beat the guys, you save the day and everyone's happy and now everything's fine. So think of it in that way. Break it up with your setup, your conflict, and then your resolution. It's gonna make it a lot easier to write having that little bit of structure to it. And then again, after you have all that, you can feel free to, to mix it up however you want to. So. And now we enter the last phase of all this, and it's it's practice. Time to be a legend, time to be a legend. Now you got to get out there, but it's time to be a legend. Really honing your craft here and getting your, your voice together. You know, and at first, 
I will say I know a lot of rappers, a lot of singers who don't like their voice, who always try to make it sound like something else. But your voice is unique, at least it should be. You know, if it's unique to you, that's actually a good thing. If you don't sound like somebody else, then that means you'll stand out. So really, it's time to practice, keep things on the beat, practice things slower, practice things speeding them up, and then go out there and, you know, do your homework. Listen to other rappers, see what other people are doing. Rappers in the past, what's going on in hip hop right now. Like that's what's really gonna help you, is going out and listening to people like, you know, you listen to Tech 9 or you listen to Busta Rhymes, Bus Driver, Hopsy, you know, Be Dolan Sage Francis, The Epic Beard Men, Bamboo, Rich Brown, Wu-Tang Clan. There are so many people doing so many different things in hip hop and doing so many great things with it that there's no reason not to go out there and just listen to everything. You know, the more you listen to, the more it kind of will give you a, a different perspective on things. And you know, if it's not your style, that's, that's cool too. You don't necessarily have to do that style, but you might find something within that style that applies to yours that you like, that just kind of makes you stand out even more. And then, then you open the door for innovation. Everybody loves innovator. So let's talk to these guys for a minute and let's see what inspires them, what kind of really gets them writing and everything. So, kick it off. So, what inspires me to write? I guess it's a lot of things, it's a lot of things. Life, situations, um, things people are going through, you know? That, that honestly inspires me to write. Sometimes it's, it's a song from my favorite artist, you know? Uh, Wu-Tang, Red Man, Method Man, you know? When I hear their stuff back in the day, oh my goodness, yo, like, it, it had substance to it, you know? I mean, honestly, for me, it's, it's, it's everything around me. It's the music, it's the media, it's life, it's everything, everything that surrounds me, you know? Everything has a story, everything has a trend, you know? And I feel like us as artists, we're responsible to depict that, you know, to depict the trend, to depict what's going on in our society and honestly lead people, you know, especially listeners, fans, what have you. We need to lead them to a better direction. I feel like that's our responsibility, but that's what honestly inspires me to write. Start your gears and writing down, you know, is, is, is almost, it's, it's almost, Hip hop's almost like a journal. It's a it's it's a lyrical journal to what's going on in our society. So I feel like as as artists, we're we're responsible for that. You know, we're responsible to you know show and depict the right things to show to our fans, our listeners. You know, whoever else is looking on the outside in. You know, but at the same time, get a point across, whether it be ours or somebody else's. Get that point across to most people. So sincerely, let me just say, man, I love you, Atlas. Thank you. I hope wonderful things in the future with this vlog. Bring it, y'all. I'm gonna see you soon, yo. Um, I got a couple, couple of gigs, couple of stuff that I'm doing uh, that I have in the works right now. Um, I'll release everything on my page. Uh, follow me, Jules Black Alchemist. Jules Damn Mad. Find me on Facebook. Um, hit me up. Hit me up. Hit me up. Love you guys. God bless. Be safe. Hello everyone, I am a friend of Atlas Cage. If you didn't know, Atlas Cage has bars. My name is Chris Baca, known on Instagram as Nader of the North Valley. Uh, some people call me phonetic because rap names never die. So, I got three questions from Atlas. Question one! Whatever, I don't know, he's gonna edit it. Um, he's a talented dude. So, here we go. Um, what do you tend to write about? What do I tend to write about? Um, I personally love to write about everything. I think I tend to write about everything and I think I have to because otherwise I'd still be writing about the same things and that'd be boring. I get bored easily. Um, so I could write as a character. Recently somebody asked me to write in character as like a super villain, uh, Vandal Savage from the DC universe. And I did that and that was a blast because it was so unique. And then I've been asked to just do like bar shit, uh, gun bars, or I've played like alien parts, whatever. I mean, to me, it's all a show. It's all fun and it's all a challenge, a writing challenge and a performance challenge. So I like all of those things, but I think what I tend, I think what a better answer for this question is, how do I tend to approach those things? Or how do I approach all those different topics or any basic topic? And I think that I try to approach them all 
as myself, like the most true to me I can be. You take in the things that you've heard before and you've seen before and you've been inspired, but to be original, you have to just be true to yourself, right? Your heart, your head, whatever, and um, put that out there so that you can have original lyric that even if you do tread over the same things, you know, the same topics, you know, and that's good, that's okay, but it only works if you, me, the people doing it, uh, approach it completely original and to be original I think you have to approach it as yourself. What in what inspires me, what inspires you to write? Uh, for me, I can find inspiration to write from anywhere, but I'm always trying to check myself and make sure that I'm writing for the right reasons. And the reason I think they're tied together is because, you know, I could be inspired when I'm out uh, doing something really great. I go to a brewery, I see some awesome things unfold, and it's like, man, I want to write this into a short story. But I find that a lot of times we get more intrigued with living the life of a writer or the life of a rapper as opposed to living a life with writing, a life with rapping. Uh, does that make sense? I am a babbler. Have you guys noticed yet? Probably. If you're still tuned in, you want this guy to shut up. No? Yeah, whatever. So you got one more question. Question three. Any tip that I have for aspiring new rappers? I think anybody going out there to be a new rapper, whether that's you're writing your first little rhyme, you know, we've all done it. Uh, like I started middle school just cause it was just the era and like it was the neighborhood I lived in and I loved hip hop. So I always was drawn to it and I liked writing anyway. And I liked poetry and I liked Dr. Seuss growing up. So it all kind of tied together and was fun for me. It felt like a challenge with words, and those things are all great. And you start out at that place where you're doing it, and you don't know yourself. You're finding yourself, and you're finding your voice. And so it would be unfair for me to say, be true to yourself. I would say, like, aspiring new rappers, like brand new, try to find your voice, like who you are. Like, that involves digging deep and looking internally and knowing who you are so you can be true to yourself. Remember you're performing. Don't sound like you're reading on the microphone. This is a performance, man. You gotta be like a cartoon. You gotta be like, what, however it is, you know? I mean, even if you're being smooth, there's a way to do that as a, I don't wanna say a character, to, but you are playing a character, even if it's just a, a version of yourself. Perform it. The only other thing I would say is write songs. I mean, I get the joy of just hearing rappers rap. I'm just going and spitting or whatever it is. But at the end of the day, as a fan, as a fan person, hearing new rappers come out, I'd like to see more song writing. I think the most valuable thing that you could do there at the end is to write songs. Since we're talking about being rappers, write songs. Atlas Cage, um, Psycho Phoenix, my homie, I love him. Uh, he thought I had something to say on it. And so if you don't like it, take it up with him. <sighs> Big thank you to Jules and the Phonetic Really appreciate you guys. And don't forget to check out links to all their work in the description below. As always guys, I hope you're digging this video. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know why. Like, subscribe, and share it. Let's keep it going. Now, somebody drop that beat for me. <laughs> Now don't you think that this outrageous For the Phoenix they gon' add a couple history pages Now I'ma grab a noose and just hang around And see what's coming up from the underground Nothing to fear cause the man is fearless No peer pressure cause the man is peerless It'll